Hey guys, Jason here from TasteBetter.com. So Eric Marcus from Vegan.com, he's got a new book out. It's called The Ultimate Vegan Guide, Compassionate Living Without Sacrifice. As far as I know, it's only available on Amazon.com. So I haven't read it yet, but it looks like a great book on how to go vegan. And, you know, I don't know if we'll ever see a book that's like the last word on how to go vegan or why to go vegan. A lot of the basics stay unchanged, but, you know, just like you can guess the year a book was published by its cover design, I think the sales copy inside, and, and yeah, if you're trying to persuade someone, it's sales copy if you haven't caught on by now, uh, that needs to be updated to fit each generation of prospective readers. Uh, this looks like it could be a good one for the next few years, or, or more, if it gets updated, and since it's being published by Eric, and is, I believe it's self-published, he's got the ability to update that uh, more easily than he would through a traditional publisher, so hopefully the thing's going to keep going uh, over the years. Now, veganism's got a pretty good coverage for going vegan books, but here's the thing. We've got books like Becoming Vegan, which is like a classic from the health and diet argument of uh, veganism, but where's a book called, like, Staying Vegan? You know, sometimes it seems like once you've got the basics down, all you've got left are cookbooks. Do we need more than that? I don't know. Maybe all we need are reminders of the key animal rights, health, environment, etc., you know, arguments from time to time, and a guide to going vegan probably has all of that. But then again, if we're doing all this work to transition people to veganism, and the overall numbers are staying pretty much the same, it seems like there's a market out there to keep people on the path for more than a few months. I don't have any immediate answers, and I don't feel like I'm about to eat a steak anytime soon, but if a book called Staying Vegan came out, I'd buy it in a heartbeat just to see some new ideas. If you've got any, or just some reasons like why do people stop being vegan, like they try it and then they drop it, uh, head over to tastebetter.com and leave a comment and see what we can get going. I'm Jason, this is tastebetter.com, we'll talk to you later.